vegetable. Episode 86 of my series, where I aim to play the cities, towns, and urban areas of Norway to a GeoGuessr score of 25,000 points each, i.e. a perfect playthrough. Today we have made it to the city of Morsjøen. And Morsjøen sits almost smack in the middle of Norway. They like to say that it is in the middle of Norway. They do have some competitors, but still. It is uh, was first mentioned... That's a place someone lived in the 1660s, but there's no doubt it's been people living there way before then. And in the 1700s, when they saw a lot of activity here with uh, as a harbour for shipping out lumber, as well as sawmills and stuff. And it became a... it got a town charter in 1874 and has since evolved into an industrial town. And... Uh, the most significant being the, uh, the melting plant out here, which was established in 1958, makes, or rather it melts aluminum or aluminium into various things. And the harbor here is also the largest container harbor of northern Norway. And uh, it is as also... Uh, also has the oldest contiguous uh, wooden city or town center that has been able to escape wars and fires of all the northern Norway. So there's quite a lot of, and it's a very nice walk along the river here with lots of wooden houses from the 1800s. So yeah, so the, this part of Morshan is quite attractive. The rest of the city is a little, well, a little dominate, domineered by the uh, by the melting plant and the fact that most of it is fairly recently built. Still, it's a nice enough place to stop and uh, I think in spite of being hemmed in by mountains pretty much on all sides, making this a rather dark place, especially in winter, I think the locals like it quite well here. It's, uh, yeah, it's worth a place for a stop if you're like driving northwards towards Lofoten Islands or the North Cape. It's a good place to stop. 9,700 people living there. Let's go and have a look. Well, we're nearing the end of the maps that I had to re-record. And uh, Morshan is the second to last one of those. And it's a city where I've been many times. But um, there are plenty of areas I don't really know. And I see this Krista person is probably a local. So... And uh, Kai Rubin as well. Yeah, probably. Uh, I guess all of these guys are locals. So let's see if I can beat my own time from this place. Although I think that's unlikely unless I place downtown. Let's go. And see what we get. Okay, so over here is the melting plant. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, this is a hotel. I've stayed overnight here. Um, I stayed overnight here. Um, uh, in 2019. <laughs> yeah, I remember it was a bit bitterly cold. I was uh, my parked car parked here was in November, and I remember I left a can of Red Bull in my car. And when I got back to the car in the morning, the can had cracked right open from the cold. So anyways, yeah, we're at the back of this thing. Um, let's see, looking straight south, we're looking... Yeah, that's pretty good, I'd say. Or maybe even pull a little in, like so. Good enough. <laughs> well, that was fun. And... Yeah, I sort of know the. I think I know the general area. Let's see, Hegve and, and 
uh, Heg is a kind of tree, I don't really know. Mod is cool, it's an orchid, I think. So let's see, Heg, then, and, uh, and onwards to Mod is cool, then. okay. And this must be a road that runs parallel with the E6. Uh, probably down here, so, or even as far, no. Um, let's not make any sweeping conclusions. Oh, wait a minute, that's the Heg Road. Ha, huh. here we are. Let's see. We are... Um, easy now. Easy, 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 easy. We are hereabouts. More or less smack in the middle between those two buildings. Looking north. I'm looking at these two guys. And that should put us about there. Let's go like so. Yep. Onwards. This is... So I can see a harbour down there. So I guess we'll, well, we could be either up here... Oh, we could be up here. Um, I know there's a harbor down here. I've been walking around here in the marina. Um, let's see. I guess the most likely way to go to find any street signs. Oh, what's this one called? El Salaulas Road. That's interesting. I believe Rangnhil Laula, which was, was, a woman, was a Sami woman, was... Uh, um, there was a key person in uh, establishing um, a society for the Sami people back in the early 1900s. So I, want, I, th I wonder if she was from this era, and I wonder if Elsa Lola might have been some relative of her. Um, let's see... But exactly where this road is, is a little hard to garner just yet. This is Ingrid Ophlis Road. Alright, okay, so she's got her own road. She was part of a Norwegian cross-country skiing relay team that won the gold medal in the was it 1968 Olympics, I think. <laughs> so yeah, um, well... But we need to find out where the, on earth this is. Lydia Olsrud's Road. I have no idea who she was. But I would be very surprised if she wasn't a local. Now, now this must be... I think I must have been fooling myself when I saw, I said, I said, I saw a harbour. This must be up in these areas. This is Elsa Lola's Road, right. And, uh, okay. No. Oh. I thought for a moment I had to reset the whole thing. <laughs> Whee, um, so what am I looking at here? Am I here? No. Uh, I'm so confused right now. <laughs> that little moment totally threw me. So this is Elsa Lola's road. But... And they've been building new. And this doesn't match at all. No, because it comes around. There we go, we are standing here. So the Elsa Lola's road goes like so. Right. And we're in this little crossroads. There we go. Next one. Ah, <laughs> this is the marina I said I've been walking around in. So I know this little row of of uh, what on earth is going on here? I know this little row of boat houses, but that thing is placed way up. Well, actually, they haven't they haven't filled in the land here. 
Wow. Oh my word. This could pose much more of a challenge than I like. But okay, this is going this is the road going down here. Now I got an option and that is the pier. Or the breakwater rather. Let's see. And we are looking I reckon we're looking about there at the breakwater. And we're up on the E6. I'll give it a little more no I don't think I will give it a little more leeway. So we're up here, aren't we? Actually we're on the other side of the road. And the road how long since it started separating, okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that looks too. No, more on this side of the road, by the way. Don't think that looks too crazy. That thing is probably that. Still a little worried about the distance to the bridge, but I think it should be alright. Nice. Ah, brilliant. Excellent. Ah, oh, I'm glad we got to see this part of town. Um, yeah, so I think I might have mentioned it in the, in, the, in the introduction, but this entire bit here is like a really pleasant old, old wooden, uh, like the, well, it's the old city center, uh, and it's uh, pretty much all, all old, lovely wood buildings. Uh, it's such a pleasant place to have a stroll around, and it's got lots of lovely little cafes and restaurants and galleries. And so we're walking around here in the evening, summertime, early spring. There's also the river running behind the houses here. Yeah, that's really nice. Now through Hogan's Hotel, uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Hogan's Hotel is sort of a local legend. Uh, I guess mainly because it was the only place to stay overnight <laughs> back in the day. Um, now, let's see, we are... Yeah, where exactly are we? I guess we are looking. So here's the river. And we are. I think we're standing here. Yes, because when we turn around, we got the. Uh, one of the entrances to the hotel. Yeah, the distance threw a little bit because the other side looks, I believe, pretty similar. Let's just have a look around the corner. No, um, not that way. Well, let's see. Head around the side of the hotel and no, I was mistaken. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just uh, dithering and babbling now, so let's just go back and be two meters away. Cool. So that is Mosha and played to perfection in episode 86 in the bag. Yeah, that is it, that is it. And uh, yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. So let's see you again uh, for the final episode of the the ones I have to re-record, which will be episode 87 tomorrow. Until then, bye bye. <laughs>